And hello from the Heldenstadt, as it's known, the city of heroes. The venue is the Red Bull Arena. I'm Derek Ray, joined here on the commentary box by Lee Dixon. And this has all the makings of a highly engrossing match. It's RB Leipzig facing AZ. Well, I'm excited about this one. Great atmosphere in here. Everybody looking forward to this game, especially me and you. Well, who will be the player to decide the outcome, to determine the course of events? No reason at all why it won't be this man. Lee, what do you anticipate seeing from him? Well, he plays the game as if the ball's his own. He lends it to other players. He's the glue between the team, between the different departments of the team, and he links everything together. And let's have a look at the starting 11 for Leipzig. Well, as a team, Lee, they love to apply almost suffocating pressure. Based on the lineup, do you expect the same approach today? Yeah, I think so, Derek. It makes it really difficult for the opponents to find their rhythm unless their touch is absolutely perfect. It forces mistakes, so I'd expect we'll be seeing plenty of that from them today. And introducing the visitors' lineup today. If you like wingers, you'll love this league. Yeah, absolutely. I love to watch a winger play, especially with pace and power. The central striker will stay more or less in front of the goal. The support will be provided by the three central midfield players. The back four is pretty conventional, but the fullbacks will be asked to support from behind. Danny Olmo. Nkunku. And he takes it away. Careless in possession. Marcel Zabitza. And they continue to advance. And a lot of options here. Well, possibilities in the centre. A very good tackle. And a throw in forthcoming. Angelino. It looks promising. Carlson. Now Mitsu. Oh, he's really opened them up here. Can he take the chance? Just had to keep his concentration to the maximum, and he did. And behind it's gone for a corner. And firing it into the area. It didn't happen for them. It did look as though they might be onto something for a second or so. Marcel Zabitza. Oh, nice ball over the top to chase. Looks promising this. An attack full of promise. Effective challenge. Mitsu on the ball Jonas Svensson looking for that final pass looking for the goal that would put them ahead an effective ball delightful pass and mistimed the run sadly that's offside Marcel Zabitza. Danny Olmo with it. Nkunku. Good play it in. And crossed in the direction of the back post. And routine for the keeper in the end. The cross far too close to him. Weindau. Albert Gudmundsson. 
They do pass the ball with authority. Owen Bindown. Dangerous looking attack. Chance to play it in. Oh, a tremendous block. Well, he certainly wasn't offside by a mile. A disappointing end to the move. Goodmanson. A really sumptuous ball. Surely. Still level here, but the pressure escalating. Can they forge ahead? Well, they would have done had it not been for the keeper. Well, he was so sharp, the goalkeeper there, wasn't he? What a wonderful save. Now the delivery, well clattered away. Albert Goodmanson. Boadou read it superbly to take back possession. Well, an opportunity here for them to get their noses in front from the corner. Well, truth be told, he's only had a very limited influence on this game late. Yeah, he's like a shadow of his usual self, as we can see. And there doesn't seem to be any desire to go that extra yard. His team need him. Put a shift in, lad. And over comes the corner. Not really the ideal clearance. Danger averted for now. Danny Olmo. Upamecano. And now with Angelino. There will be one minute added on at the end. Nkunku. Now moving the ball impressively here. Nkunku. And threading it forward. And still a chance. And I think the threat has been averted. A chance then for the respective managers to address their charges. It is half time here. As anticipated, plenty of talking points so far. And now the second half is underway. Mitsu. It's with Cop Mainers. Well, he did his job defensively. Alexander Surlot. Angelino. He's going forward well here. Campo. Can he find the net? The keeper was never likely to be in trouble then. Well, Derek, just look at those stats. Not created enough chances. They really haven't. They need to up the tempo, put the pressure on. Then they should win this game. Carlson. What can they do from here? Still pushing for the goal that would put them ahead, but not forcing it. Well, he's got a few things right in this first half, but not everything. Well, no goals for him, no real chances either. He needs to help his team a little bit more just to get involved in the game. I think he would be the difference if he was playing better. And the challenge halts them in their tracks. Half an hour remaining then. Bruno Martins in D. Goodmanson. Now Mitsu. Got a pass that lacks quality.
Kevin Kumpel. Nkunku has it. Losing possession here. Gudmundsson. It's with Martin Zinzi. Well, they're on the scent of something positive. Just cutting off the supply. Well, it's come down to the final 20 minutes here. Albert Gudmundsson went in strongly, decisively. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. Kevin Kumpel. A chance for him to get in behind, maybe. Kumpel. Well, pass after pass, maybe they can chisel an opportunity. Gudmundsson. Boadu. Into the advanced position. Great opportunity. A goal it is. At long last, they've broken the deadlock. Well, it's been so close this game. Tactics have played a part. Now they're going to have to change the tactics and see what happens. Well, let's see the replay and look at the pace at which the counter-attack happens. But as good as the move is, the goalkeeper has had an absolute shocker. Beaten at his near post. Terrible. What a big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? Marcel Zabitza. The ball with Kampel. Vili Orban. Nkunku. Well, on the attack, hunting for a late equaliser here. Nkunku. And just like that, they've lost possession. Can they do something positive on the counter-attack? Well, not to be in terms of the counter-attack. Well, just listen to the crowd. They want a bit more. They know there's still time to grab an equaliser. Surely they'll get another chance or two. Klosterman. Danny Olmo with it. Moving into the advanced position. It's opening up for them. They've won possession again. And just one minute of stoppage time, say the officials. And time for the change now. Owen Weindahl. A good effect of pressure high up the... And that is that. The referee blows his whistle for full time and it's a victory for the visitors, Lee. Just nudging ahead when they did has won it for him in the end. Really tight affair that was. Well, this man has given us plenty of reasons to dwell on his performance this evening, Lee. He's always a man to watch for the opposition, but they couldn't keep tabs on him in that vital moment when he grabbed that goal.